Welcome back to another studio vlog. In this video, I'm going to be working on a new sticker collection for my next release at Virgo and Paper. Before I get into making art, I have a few admin tasks. I need to reply to some comments on my last YouTube video, answer a couple emails, and then I will pack a small batch of orders. First, I write a thank you note to each customer on the receipts. Sometimes if I have a ton of orders, there just isn't time to do this, but I love to do it whenever time allows. I personally love a handwritten note when I order things and it's just a nice touch to say hi to each customer. <laughs> Next, I pull all the items for the orders at once, and then I'll work on packaging them neatly, print out the shipping labels, and then put it all together in each envelope. After my admin tasks are done, I'm going to move on to designing some new stickers for my next release, and that's what I work on for the rest of the afternoon. It's now Monday, and so far it's been a productive Monday. I took most of Friday off, and I had a nice three-day weekend, but I'm glad to be back to it. It's about noon now. Um, this morning I answered emails and filled some orders. Then I spent about an hour editing this video so that hopefully I can finish it tomorrow. Um, and for the rest of today, I need to work on new releases. I have about a week, but I have some other projects going on. So I need to try and knock out as much of it as possible today. Okay, so it's now Tuesday. So uh, most of Monday was spent working on new releases. You saw a little bit of that. And um, I kind of hit a brick wall with it. So what I ended up doing is scrapping the idea that I had, um, the watercolor that I was trying to digitize. It just did not turn out the way I wanted it to. And it just was creating a huge file in Illustrator and um, I'm, I just was like at a point of frustration yesterday and so what I ended up doing is I went through some of my old art and sketchbooks and I actually scanned in several pages and I kind of decided to use some old art for my new designs. So I'm going to take you to the computer and I'll just show you what I have so far and what that looks like. Okay, so what I ended up doing is scanning in some sketches. Um, this is actually some old artwork that I had painted in like 2016. And so I just scanned it in. Um, maybe I should show you the actual painting. Okay, so I'm gonna show you um, what I ended up doing. I have this book with like old artwork or just not even artwork. This is literally just things that um, like 
they were not finished pieces of artwork. They were just kind of things I didn't want to throw away or I thought I might use some pieces from them. And so I ended up actually scanning both of these and a bunch of other things. And I'm thinking at some point I might use this for like a Christmas print. Um, but not right now. We're not doing Christmas right now. <laughs> so I ended up scanning in this and it was just practicing um, some flowers with watercolor. I have like just a bunch of like old artwork. Actually, fun fact, those are from um, some clear sticker designs that I made. Um, I just like saved that old lettering before I scanned it in. Um, but yeah, I kind of like just going through back back through um, old sketchbooks and old art. And so I scanned this in. We'll put this back and I'll take you to the computer and show you what I did with it. So here is the scanned version. You can see that um, I cleaned up the background. So I removed the background, um, the watercolor paper texture that was in the white space here. And then I just took it into Illustrator and I um, started to vectorize it. So you can see I actually did the flowers and leaves separately. So here are the flowers and then I recolored them in a little bit of a purple. I might actually still work on this a little bit more because I feel like some of the tones are a little bit off. Um, and then I have the leaves. I love how the leaves came out. I'm so happy with this. I think it's so cool. So basically I'm just dumping all of these motifs in here. This was another like doodles of little coffee cups and different types of cups and I scanned those in. You can just tell they're like drawn with a pen. And then this was another um, painting that I scanned in and I just put it in pink. Um, but yeah, so basically that's where we're at right now with the designs is I just have a bunch of little pieces and parts that I'm going to hopefully combine into something beautiful. I'll show you the patterns that I was working on though. Um, this was another like old artwork painting of strawberries and I just have been working on getting that into a pattern. I really like the strawberries actually. I like the colors a lot. Um, so yeah, we have just right now a bunch of little bits and parts. The flowers you saw me working on, that was an old pattern that I recolored. So, um, yeah, that's kind of like behind the scenes of the collection so far is just a bunch of messy little pieces. So, um, let me flip you around now. So, um, I'm at the computer now and what I'm going to be doing is just finishing, um, the rest of that. So I'm going to try and get, um, get all my patterns done for the stickers. Um, format them into some sticker sheets. Um, basically what I do is I create patterns, I create, I pick out colors, and then I pull out bits and pieces of the pattern to be like individual stickers. So I'm gonna hopefully combine those all today. My goal was to have something printed out yesterday, but like it just was not turning out the way that I wanted it. And so today I'm going to just try it again and get something printed out. I want a finished sticker sheet by the end of the day, and then that way I will have a few more days to finish and print out everything and cut everything. But before I get to work, um, cause that is just the majority of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day, nothing else, nothing exciting. I'll just show you my progress on that. But um, before we get started with that, I just wanted to quickly unbox a little package that came in yesterday. So let's do that. Okay, so um, as you can see, I got a new planner. I won't lie, I did open this up and take a look at it, but I wanted to just like put it back in the box and share the unboxing with you um, because I have not set it up yet and I wanted you to share in my excitement. <laughs> so it does come with a um, pack of paper, which I appreciate. As you can see, I got um, the A5 size and it does come with a box and a dust bag and the dust bag is actually like pretty thick with a drawstring, which I appreciate. Okay, drum roll please. And this is it. So I got a um, A5 size in the taupe I really like the color. 
I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but it's like a light sandy brown. Um, almost like a khaki color, but like with a little bit more of a mushroom brown to it. Um, so I did go ahead and change out the rings to gold. I ordered the planner and the rings from an Etsy seller that I will link below. Um, they had really fast shipping and good customer service, so I would definitely recommend them. But um, yeah, it, I ordered on a Saturday and then it came in on Monday, so it was pretty quick. And um, I ordered the rings from there as well, so I went ahead and changed those out. And they're really nice, pretty gold. Um, I love the gold rings. The, my only pet peeve is like, of course, now the gold is not going to match the little zipper and the little um, poppers and things, but I knew that going into it, so it's totally fine with me. So yeah, I just wanted to show you um, lots of pockets. I didn't even realize how many pockets, like one, two, and then there's one back here. Lots of card pockets here, here, and in the front, so that's a ton. And then a big perk of this is the giant back pocket. I love that. This planner like does have a little bit of a smell to it, so I'm probably just gonna leave it sitting out and just kinda let it air out a little bit. But yeah, I will link that Etsy shop below because it was very fast shipping and I'm very happy with my purchase. All right, so as it usually happens, I got totally carried away, so I didn't show every aspect of um, creating this artwork, but I was able to get this done in a couple hours. So we've got like a little mood board here. This is just for me to use as I'm formatting stickers. Now here are some of the finished sticker sheets printed and cut and ready to put in the shop. I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of the design process from start to finish. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.